going to go back a little bit to your elementary school days and review some long division. And it'll be more clear when we get to the next video of why we have to uh, review this long division. So we want to take 161 and we want to divide it by 7 and find out what we get. And sometimes we get remainders. So be careful that your numerator is going to go underneath the division symbol. And then your denominator, 7, will go in front. All right, so we want to say how many times does 7 divide into 1? Well, that's too small, so let's go to the next number. How many times does 7 divide into 16? Well, that's about 2 times. So what we do is we multiply 7 times 2 when we get 14. And then we always subtract that number. So 16 minus 4 is 2, and then we bring down the 1. And then we say, how many times is 7 divided into 21? Well, that's 3 times, so we multiply. 3 times 7 is 21, and then we subtract it, always subtract it, we get 0. This means that we don't have a remainder. So we have an exact value of... 161 divided by 7 is 23. So our answer is 23. So hopefully that's pretty okay for you there. Um, now this next one, a little bit bigger number. We're now taking and dividing into 12. So we're saying how many times is 12 divided into 56? So you want to say, okay, 12 times 2 is 24. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 times 4 is 48. So we say 4 goes into that. So we multiply. We get an 8 and a 4. And now we subtract it. So 56 minus 48 is 8. Now we bring down the next term of 4. We say how many times does 84 go in with 12? So we say 7 times. And we multiply it. And we get 84, and we subtract, and we get 0. Then we bring down the next number, 3. That doesn't work. So this is your remainder. Okay, so it doesn't give you an answer, so you have 47. Remainder, 3.